What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Amir Khan, Kell Brook, in sensational shape as they make weight to avoid a six figure fine at the weigh in. Amir Khan and Kell Brook's anticipated fight is on Saturday night live on Sky Sports Box Office. Amir Khan and Kell Brook locked eyes in a furious final face-off after avoiding a huge fine by hitting the weight limit at Friday's weigh-in, okay? Of course, we know Khan and Brook will finally settle their feud inside the ring in Manchester on Saturday. Khan was 10 stone, 7 pounds, 5 ounces, a pound lighter than Brooke. Both were inside the 10 stone, 9 pound, 149 pound limit. Okay, As a six-figure fine loomed for every pound that either fighter exceeded the limit by, Brooke had previously teased that he might willingly pay a fine to be bigger and heavier than Amir Khan. The rivals whose feud stretches back 17 years went face to face for the final time before the punches fly on Saturday night. Brooke, a former world champion welterweight at 147 pounds, said the weight hasn't or wasn't an issue. He says, I feel amazing. I've done the hard work. I will fuel up, then come in cool, calm and collected. It's going to be electric. I'll be firing on all cylinders. Khan said about his fury face-off with Brooke, there was a lot said. Kale is confident and so am I. I made the weight easily. I could made I could have made the 147 pounds if I needed to. The next time we will see each other will be in the ring. Kale will be shown who is the better fighter. Okay. Now, let me counterpunch. Um, I think these guys should have fought a long time ago, but I think it's much needed. As you can see, the crowd was electric. They were ecstatic. And you can, tell, you can still tell that this fight is still warranted. It's still respected, okay? They're not in their 40s or this is not a legend, legendary league type fight where you know, the best years are way behind them. The best years are behind them, but not way behind them, okay? So, you know, and we look at these two guys as they parallel their careers, okay? And you've seen Amir Khan, he revered to be the best. That was the narrative. He wanted the bigger fights. He wanted the Pacquiao fight. He got the Canelo fight. Brooke wanted the Khan fight. You know, and he wanted other fights. He fought tough opposition coming in with an undisputed or undefeated record against Gennady Golovkin, which at the time was an absolute beast. OK, and he went to his backyard um, in far as middleweights and Gennady Golovkin went to his and he caught Gennady Golovkin with some good punches. But I think that only made Gennady mad, whereas Amir Khan was knocked smooth out by Canelo Alvarez. And it's crazy <laughs> that both of these guys, you know, wanted to be the best in their area. But at some point, they ended up short, okay? And that's what happens. And I think they should have made a legacy with each other rather than other people. But nonetheless, they are here now. They finally agreed on the weight, uh, the venue, the money, the other differences, and we have a fight, okay? So both of these guys made the way in, no drama there. Uh, I feel that whoever wants it more will take it. You know, in a nutshell, who wants this fight more will take this fight. No doubt about it. No ifs, ands, buts. Okay? And I think if either one of these guys get cracked the wrong way, it will be lights out for both of them because we know Amir Khan still has fast lightning hand speed and he can still crack that eye or those eyes 
of Kell Brook. But the same goes for Amir Khan. If he gets caught on that button chin, he could go in as well. So it's, I think, a situation where both of these guys have something to prove. And most importantly, they have to prove it to each other. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Amir Khan, Kell Brook, making the weight without being fined, about to throw down from a 17-year wait for these guys to get it on. Tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys, been Counterpunch. Peace!